Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Jennifer. I'm a mummy of two. I've got a little boy called Ralph who's four and this little one here is Olivia who is six months and teething. Teething is a tough phase, not just for your baby, but for us as parents as well. We go through it with them, you know, the sleepless nights, some babies just seem to breeze through teething without any symptoms at all and others really struggle like my son did. Teething can turn your once happy and content little baby into one that's tearful, irritable and cranky. <laughs> you know when your baby's teething, when they start chewing on everything, they're dribbling constantly. I've found that Olivia will sometimes like rub her gums or like she, when she's trying to sleep, she'll just turn her head side to side because obviously she can't quite work out, I think, where the pain's coming from. Fingers in the mouth is another one. <laughs> and also you might notice like their gums are really like bulging or their cheeks are a little bit red. And one that Olivia sometimes does is she licks a lot. I can see her like licking her lips and I think it's because she's obviously trying to soothe the pain but can't actually get to it. <laughs> so a few things we like to help with teething are teething rings. And we love these ones from Newbie. This one here, actually both my children have loved this one because the little bits at the top are like crinkle paper and they've actually really liked chewing on those bits rather than on the actual ring. And then the other one that they've really liked are these. These have got like a special gel in them and they're quite like soft um, because you can actually put these ones in the fridge and keep them really nice and cool so they're really soothing on baby's gums when they're chewing on them. One thing I will say about these though is don't put them in the freezer because anything frozen can actually damage baby gums. And don't put them in your steam steriliser. <laughs> I made that mistake with something like this in the past. I was like sterilise everything. Um, but these bits actually kind of melt, so don't make that mistake. And you can't go through teething without a Sophie the Giraffe. But we really like this one. This is slightly smaller. I find like the full size version is quite hard for her to chew on. But this one's really easy for her to hold. And she really likes to have a good chew on that one. In terms of teething relief, we've always loved the Dentinox Teething Gel. I've just find that that is really effective in help soothing her gums and it does seem to settle her after I've used this. We also love the Ambisol Liquid. You can actually only get this over the counter in a pharmacy, but what we really like about this is I feel like you can put it more on the point of where the pain is. So it just comes in a little bottle like that and you just put it on your finger and then you can actually rub it on the gums where it's actually hurting your baby. So where the gel sometimes can sort of slide off, I feel like this you can actually get on the right point of where the pain is. And my last one are teething granules. These are the Nelson's ones, but we've also used the Ashton and Parsons ones in the past as well. I think both are just as good. Um, but they just come in little sachets, so there's four there. And you just rip them open, pour them in your baby's mouth, and it just kind of fizzes all in their mouth and just gives them teething relief. So they're our favourite products. I use them with my son as well. They're definitely the ones that have worked the best for us. But obviously if you have got a really irritable baby and one that is clearly in a lot of pain, then you can also try a little bit of Calpol. I know the NHS website also recommends that as well, but I kind of try and use that when she is really, really suffering. Something I forgot to mention, but we use a lot of are dribble bibs. And this one's really good because it's got a teether on the end of it, which Olivia's munching on right now. <laughs> this one came from Asda, but I think there are a few, uh, like a few different brands that make these teething bibs now. Um, but also what you'll find is when your baby's teething, they become like really like drooling all the time and under their neck can get quite wet. So I always try and wipe under Olivia's neck just to stop her getting like dribble rash. And my last thing, and something that I didn't realise, was that you can actually start cleaning your baby's teeth before their teeth come through. And you can do this by using just like a damp, soft cloth while your baby's in the bath, and just put it around your finger and just wipe all around their gums. And they'll probably like the pressure of you pushing on like their gums as well. But you can also get these baby teething wipes. So they're all individual sachets inside, which look like this. Then in it, they just fit over your finger and you can use that to wipe all inside your baby's gums. And my last one is just lots and lots of cuddles and comfort. It is a tough phase, but it doesn't last forever. But I hope you enjoyed this teething video. If you've got any tips of your own, then please leave them in the comments below so that other mums can check them out too. Don't make yourself cough. <laughs> 
But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Feeling so small, watch the clock.